So this is a 3D camera with a built-in viewer. It reminds me of those little things from way back when where you could view 3D. Really kind of a cool concept. What's really cool about this is it does have the two lenses on the front and then if you look at the back it has the screen here. But if you actually want to view in 3D, you can just insert this. Now it sticks on with magnets, really slick design. And then I can go like this and view everything in 3D. It actually splits the screen. Now I grew up in the 90s where Magic Eye came out and that was awesome. And then I think around the early 2000s, 3D movies became a thing and then they died out. And then in about 2010, it got popular again. And people keep on doing 3D because it is really cool, but it's still a novelty because it's so hard to view things in 3D. Well, this aims to fix a lot of that because you can film with this and then you can actually view it with this. Real quick, I wanna show you what you get out of the box and then show you some footage from this. Here's the box that the camera comes in. Comes with a cleaning pad and a little guide or manual, if you will, for how to use it. Here is the camera. All right, so you can see that the size of the camera is not too big. It is a bit hefty, like you can feel that it has a lot of electronics. Your mode on off button and your shutter button you can mount it on a tripod. Got a mic here and a mic here, and then you've got your two camera lenses. Opening this is kind of interesting. You kind of pull out and then pull up, and then this is where the battery goes. It's also where you can charge it via USB C, and where you put your mini TF or micro SD card. So it also comes with this carrying case. Here is the battery, USB-C charging cable, and a little carrying strap. Here is the viewer. Go ahead and put, looks like I must have the viewer on the wrong way because it's not even letting me put it on with the magnets. If I flip it around, ah, wow. That's pretty slick. Just snaps into place and then you've got this and this here. If you want to take it off, you just push down and it comes off. That's pretty cool. I like that. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Press and hold to turn it on. Ni hao. Hello. Something. All right. So let's select English. So it looks like it's only using this right lens here for the viewer. So it's only using one viewer. Cool. If I put this on, does that change anything? Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> All right, now that this is on, it has split screen mode on the camera. And if I look into this, everything I see is actually 3D in real time, which is kind of like real life. Amazing. That's so trippy. This is what the video file looks like. You can see it is really nice, high quality. It does well at night as well, or in dark conditions. Here's my son doing ninja moves. It does record in 60 frames per second. so. I'm kind of doing this slow motion so you can be amazed at his awesome moves. He has a lot of fun watching himself in this camera. It's tons of fun for kids. Here's what the audio sounds like. I love you. You have a heart. It's so nice. It's like a firework. This was sent to me so I could do this review and let me go ahead and tell you what I do and don't like about it. First, the things I don't really like about it, for one, focusing on this thing is kind of weird. You can see the kind of dots here. You basically select where you think you should focus. It's kind of just like guessing. I wish you tap on the screen and wherever you tap, that's where it focuses, but it doesn't really have that autofocus. You still kind of have to do it manually. So a lot of the things I've shot video for are out of focus. The other thing I think could be improved with this is it's really nice and convenient to view the 3D with this, but if you want to upload to YouTube or view 3D some other way, I haven't found a clear and easy way to do that. I wish either their website had some better data. I think with YouTube, you can just upload a file and it will render in 3D, but it has to have the metadata attached to the video file. That doesn't appear to be the case on this. If you just upload a file to YouTube, it just shows the two squares. It doesn't have the little 3D icon. Now there are of course ways to do it, but it usually involves other software and doing stuff. I just want a quick and easy way to upload something to 3D. I don't even have a way to view it other than this, but that's something that would be nice. Now you can use the app and you can use a VR headset, put your phone in there and view 3D that way if you want to. What I like about this is for one, the image quality is quite good. I like the novelty of it. It is cool to do 3D. If you want to know how much fun this is, just look at my son's reaction when he's watching himself in this. <laughs> 
Everyone I've let use this has had a lot of fun seeing what they look like in 3D and viewing it. I think it's especially a lot of fun for kids. Now, if you want to do 3D for other things, this is a good camera port, but it will take a little bit of work. If you just want something, if you just want something quick and easy that you can record your kids, they can view it and have a good time. This is a really, really cool camera. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.